Hey there, Leo, it's Lex and welcome to your reading. If you have not already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I post new content or do live streams. If you would like to reach me directly, the link to my website is in the description box below. There you can book readings, coaching, classes, and visit the store. I have a lot of things in my shop anywhere, anything from herbs, candles, jewelry, uh, with crystals and, and things of that nature in it check me out all right so leo i have already pre-shuffled and drawn your cards i will go through them in the order in which they came out and then rearrange and clarify as necessary so first we have the nine of water four of air king of water knight of fire the star and the queen of earth clarifying the overall energy of your reading is the moon number 18 and it says important psychic insights events behind the scene release harsh fears that hold you back and clarifying the overall energy we have improving health okay so some of you um may need to take better care of yourselves some of you may have had a health scare um or you or someone very close to you or the situation in general is improving, okay? Then when you add the one and the eight together, you get a nine, which is the number of action, almost to completion, okay? Um, but definitely do not be fearful of the unknown. I do feel that things will be working out. Some of you could be waiting to get some sort of results to some health test that you took or something else that you are waiting on and you're worried about it, okay? Okay. With the four of air, I have time to rest, take a vacation. So some of you may be um, going on vacation. You may have had to because of whatever the situation is that you're in. It also says to allow more time before um, making a decision. With the star card and the nine of water being here, this is wish fulfillment. Okay, you're going to get the results that you want. You're going to get the answers that you seek. Okay, take that time to reflect. King of water, a lot of water energy here um, for you, Leo. You could be dealing with the water sign, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, okay? But the king of water here, this is allowed, telling you to um, take advice of those around you who have been in the position that you're in. Right now, I do feel that it could be an older water sign or just um, a water sign in general that has gone through a similar situation that's going to be able to help give you some comforting advice and clarity on the situation. It is telling you to also deal with challenges in a kind, understanding manner. Don't be too fly at the lip, okay? Think before you speak and things are going to start moving very quickly. If this is a love situation, be wary of someone coming in very, very quickly because they're going to leave just as quick as they come in, okay? Night of Fire Energy is someone that is very uh, passionate and adventurous, and when they get bored, they're ready to move on to the next thing. So be mindful of that. Could be a, uh, a, uh, a fellow fire sign that has piqued your interest. So be mindful of that. Okay. As a situation, the night of fire, though, does bring um, movement to a lot of times work situations or you just needing to make a decision very quickly because it's going to be time sensitive. All right. So clarifying this, we have the Hierophant, Page of Cups and the Judgment in World. OK, definitely a lot of changes here. A lot, a lot of changes here. There's going to be some offer being presented to you that is going to uh, require a decision quickly. That's why I was saying time is of the essence. It's going to be something completely brand new and different from what you've ever experienced before. And then this hierophant, this is again when I was saying take the advice and mentorship and counsel of someone who has been there, who has done that, uh, like-minded and that they share similar values and goals so that you can um, make an educated and responsible choice. OK, so I want to pull a life purpose oracle for you, Leo. And we have you're on the right path. Q 
keep doing what you're doing because it is working. Okay, so trust yourself. All right, so moving on to the love department, we're going to pull a couple of romance angel oracles. Get some insight there. Okay. I have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. I have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. And I have very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now with flirt. It's in your lighthearted energy. Okay, Leo. So you are all big flirts and you want what you want, when you want, how you want it. Make sure that when you are flirting with these people that you actually want them. That's it. That's what I'm getting right now, because you tend to just have fun. And then the people come along and then all of a sudden you stuck with somebody. And it's like, this isn't what I thought it was. And I really don't want you now. So be careful of that. <laughs> but have fun. And anybody that you do have your heart set on, go ahead and let them know. I have the Empress card here. Some of you could be expecting or wanting children or the person has children that you are dealing with. And you are looking for something that is strong and stable and substantial. Walking away from this, this is um, a lot of people, um, well, I don't want to say a lot of people say it, but this card can represent you walking away from situations that are not serving your highest good or purpose. That is not at all what you want. But also, this is you leaving behind the bullshit to seek something that is real. Okay, so take that how it fits if it does. So I'm going to pull an Archangel Oracle message to tie all of this in for you. See what we get. <laughs> Two want to come together. All right. We have prioritize, focus on your highest priorities. I will help help you get organized and motivated. That is Archangel Metatron. And overcoming difficulties. This is Archangel uh Jeremiel, and it says the worst is now behind you and you are surmounting any previous challenges. OK, so you're going on to something bigger and better. Don't worry. Don't be afraid. Surround yourself with the right type of people and stay on the beaten path. Lee. OK, that is your reading. If this resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment. Share it with a fellow Libra. I'm sorry, Leo. You might be dealing with the Libra. Libra got a similar uh, message in their reading. If you have Libra in your chart, go check that one out. Uh, Cross watchers, thank you for being here. Let me know if this fits your situation. And if it does not, for some reason, please check one of the other videos that highlights either your moon rising or Venus as those sometimes resonates with us better. And if you would like to reach me directly, the link to my website is in the description below. So until next time, Leos, I love you. Take care.